Pam Mashey, National Education Ambassador for Babylock and Designers Gallery. If you're like me, you couldn't wait for spring to get here. This spring, you won't be disappointed at your local Babylock retailer because everything's blooming with Babylock. If you're inspired by beautiful quilts, you'll love these tips and techniques based on an old favorite. This beautiful quilt is based on the books Lover's Knot and Magic Vine by Quilt in a Day. Eleanor always makes quilting easy, so let me show you a couple of her tips. We will start with her famous strip piecing technique. I'm going to use the Quest Plus and a straight stitch from the 363 stitches found on this machine and a quarter inch stitch foot with guide. I align my fabrics and sew. This will give me the precision piecing I want as I construct the lover's knot block. For the applique on the flowers, I'm going to use an applique stitch with rayon thread from Madeira. And of course, make sure I have a fresh new needle. Here's a great feature on this machine. When I need to pivot at a corner, I use my knee lift. This keeps my hands free to maneuver the fabric. Then I can make my turn easily for each flower section. Once you've finished your appliques and borders, you're ready to quilt. You can achieve beautiful stitching because the precision dual feed quilting built into the Quest Plus ensures the layers feed evenly. you can use the new Jewel long arm machine. The 18 inch throat is perfect for quilting any pattern you'd like, or even free motion work. If this project has inspired you and you'd like to see the Quest Plus firsthand, I recommend that you see what's blooming at your local Babylock retailer. And while you're there, ask about the special nine bonus foot package just for the Quest Plus for more sewing options than you've ever imagined. See you soon!